Hi there. This is going to be Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sagittarius. Hi, truth seekers. Happy birthday to you. You guys are my birthday babies for December. And so you are first for December. November, mid-November <coughs> to ending readings. Um, there was no extended. People were slightly freaking out about that. But with these first part of December ones, there will be an extended that you can purchase if you would like. You can click on the link below. Now, here we go. You guys notice I have new cards, right? New Romance Angel ones. Um, two people sent me them. What? Abby from Canada and also Iris from Cali. Thank you both. So it looks like you're getting to know some, it looks like some of you met somebody new or will be. Because your first card is getting to know each other is you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And then you also have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I think I'm in love again. Somebody was really hesitant too. The masculine was the emperor, see? He was real stoic. The emperor stood by and watched. He's really, he's really analytical. This guy has a, a chess piece. This emperor energy, and it could be you or the other person, take it as it resonates, was very standoffish, but, but it's because he was very strategic and analytical, probably really smart, probably somebody who's very, is, 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 a, is a planner, somebody who's kind of watches first, not very impulsive. I mean, the emperor is that type of an energy, right? Where they are the, the god of war. They're very strategic. Somebody here was really patient of when to make their first move. Ooh, that sort of made me feel some type of way. Very strategic and patient on when to make the first move. What the hell? That's pretty incredible. I don't know why that got me feeling some type of way though. Nothing want to come out. It's hiding. The Four of Swords. See, somebody's hiding. Look at her. Hiding in the cocoon. Hiding. She's hiding. Retreating. That's fucking hilarious. I could feel it. Someone was hiding. Four of Swords is healing. Retreating. What's funny is, is he's watching her do it. That's why he hasn't approached yet. See him? He's watching. He's watching her heal. I feel like he has watched her throughout her journey. And however long her journey was, I don't even know. But it has that feeling to it of like he's watched her heal. And he's biding his time and he's going to pick the perfect opportunity and moment to come in. And it, it just hasn't happened yet for most of you. <clears throat> for some of you, it will start. The star. This could be Aquarius. So for some of you, it's an aqua. The star is also about wishing on a star. It's a manifestation of a wish. It's the card of healing and hope and belief. There's extreme healing here because there's two cards back to back indicating healing. Extreme healing. Didn't I say that? He was watching her heal. He's watching her wish on stars. some reason he stays he stayed in the he stayed in the back the background he sort of like let her come into her own it's an incredible energy to be honest he didn't rush in to save her because he knew that she would say what the fuck are you doing see he knew she would say what the fuck are you doing the nine of wands she this is the wounded warrior before the healing this is that energy of being very standoffish like what the fuck what do you want who sent you get out of here and he knew that. God, this is a very, very intelligent, smart dude. See, she wasn't, she wasn't open. Four pentacles, she wasn't open. That dude right there is definitely a cracked open, enlightened, woke, however you want to look at it. Because he can feel it. He knew. He just looks at it. He goes, no, not, it, I can't. She'll shut me down. So he's very...
Oh, he's so patient. He's so patient. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at her. He's watching all of this occur. He's watching her go through her shit. Four of Cups is sort of like this card about, I don't like all the things that are coming in and I'm wishing and I'm hoping for something in this cup. Something else is what I want and it's something that I just don't have. And it's also like, you see all those other cups are empty and this cup is sort of like being filled up with something from the ether, something from the spiritual realm. And what it is is that she's hoping for it. She's praying for it. That's what it is. Praying for it, hoping, manifesting it, wishing, you see that? And then look, she sort of just, there's this left out feeling or something that she has. But it's also she was afraid. She finally gets to the door and the key's sitting right here for her to open it and she's like scared. And he knows that he cannot save her. He can't come there and make her open the door and he can't open the door for her. He must watch until she becomes brave and courageous to open the door herself. This is an incredible energy. Page of Cups here. Look, it's the card when pigs fly. See the pig flying? It's that whole energy I've been feeling recently when fucking pigs fly. That He come in when pigs fly. Pigs are flying. They will be soon. This is a younger water sign, but it can also just be somebody who feels a lot of emotions. See how he has all of this energy coming from his chest? He feels so much emotions. See, she went through the process of healing. You see how her heart's cracked open? It's it's more so about cracking her heart open for her to, to heal what's from like past lives and stuff. Maybe not necessarily from what has gone on in this life. Maybe it's all past life shit. But it was cracking her open to also be more vulnerable. Because remember, she was closed up and she was the wounded warrior over here. She wasn't letting nobody in. He had to wait for that moment that she cracks open. When her wheel turned, look at that. You have the seven of pentacles putting a lot of time and effort into something. This is, you see how he's not touching it either. So he's putting a lot of time and effort into something, but just hanging back and watching it organically grow. That's what he did. So you would think he's not doing anything, but actually what he's doing is everything because he's like letting it be and letting it go and letting it flourish and, and let it be organic. That's what he's doing. That's fucking insane. This is an incredible energy, this dude. He's very... Oh my God, the two of fucking cups. Holy shit balls! here it is. The cup that she was praying for, hoping for, it actually manifests and there's actually something in the cup. She meets the one that she's been praying for, but little does she know the one that she's been waiting for and praying for and hoping for and trying to manifest has basically found her, has been watching her all this time. It feels like he's been watching her for a minute too. And don't get me wrong, the roles could be reversed, right? So it could be that the feminine is watching this masculine go through all this shit. Take it as it resonates. The high priestess, yeah. Jesus Christ. <sighs> the high priestess has been going through her healing and he knows the high priestess is strong enough to withstand the storm he knows that he knows that this is a bad bitch he knows that he cannot save her she has to save herself she'll she'll resent him if he scoops in and and like saves her she he knows he knows she's a bad bitch but with the high priestess there's this like secretive mystery factor thing going on right and and the mystery and the secret is is that this dude has not come forward that's what it is the three of cups there is this reunion look look at the star formation this constellation could that be the pleiades constellation we just had that recently where pleiades or the as they call them the seven sisters hit the peak in the sky and it was about this really important time period for us to put our wishes out there into the universe there's something written in the stars about this connection and then the ace of pentacles now the offer comes in why because now the the seed is growing the seed is growing ace of pentacles for me is always a card about career change moving um money coming in this could also be a solid offer like a wedding ring or commitment 
you know in the extended of course we're going to do a whole nother spread and we're going to hit the oracles but as you're seeing here there is this dude that was a very we call it big dick energy the emperor very strategic he watched you do your thing because he knew you could he allowed this to just totally manifest naturally and it's so beautiful and gorgeous allowing it to happen naturally as opposed to forcing and manipulating it he actually was standing back watching you bloom you were the one who bloomed you know that there's a saying when the flower blooms the bee comes that's your motherfucking bee please follow me on instagram xi underscore missy underscore xi and thank you for all of your likes your shares and your subscriptions here on youtube and if you want to book a reading with me click on the link below I also want to encourage you, if this resonates, to click on the link below to purchase the extended. I will see you guys there. Love you.